This is my favorite card trick, the envelope prediction trick. All you need is a friend to help you out. And you say, here, I have a deck of cards and a prediction as to what's going to happen. A prediction and a deck of cards. My lovely volunteer, I would like you to just deal down through the deck. And at any point, you can stop. You could put down three cards. You could put down 51 or 52 cards if you really wanted to. In fact, just to keep this random, you're welcome to shuffle the deck. They can take the deck and shuffle all they want. They can cut the cards. They can shuffle again, like so. They really take the cards and they start dealing down on the table. At any point, they can stop. They stop. They place the cards. I say, I want to remind you, I did not handle the cards. You cut them, you shuffled them, you got to deal down any number of cards that you wanted. Yet I had my prediction the entire time. My prediction right here in this envelope. Open up the envelope. Inside there is one paper and one paper only that says clearly you will pick the four of hearts. You will pick the four of hearts. That's odd. You stopped on that card right there. Flip it over. The four of hearts. What a coincidence. The amazing envelope prediction trick. The amazing envelope prediction trick secret. And it really is pretty cool. It's a great idea. You do need a couple things. You need a deck of cards, okay? You take out one card. Any card that you want. I happen to take out the four of hearts. I then had an envelope that I just write prediction on. Inside, on a big piece of paper, a bright piece of paper, I wrote, you will pick the four of hearts. So I make sure whatever I write on here is the card I take out of the deck. Place it in the envelope. You can seal it if you want, if you want to keep replacing envelopes. Place your card underneath the envelope, like so. Your card goes underneath the envelope so that it sits face down on the table. Now when I do this, I set it on the edge of the table with the card just barely poking underneath. So when I grab it, I can grab under the edge and pick up the card and the envelope at the same time. They truly can pit stop anywhere. It doesn't matter because you have the card they're going to pick. So they have the cards. They can shuffle them. They can cut the cards. Uh, they can do anything they want. You say, I'm going to keep this random. You get the deal down. They deal down as many as they want. It doesn't matter. Don't let them put them in a neat pile. Say, really mess them up. That's, how I demonst that's why and how I demonstrate at the beginning. So I do this. They stop. I just pick up the prediction. Pinch the card underneath the prediction. So I pick it up. I say, remember, I had this prediction. You got to handle the cards. Now I've set the four of hearts on the top. So the four of hearts, clearly going to be the top card. Okay? Now, I do want to tell you, you don't want them to have cards all over the place when they're dealing them. They need to be in a somewhat organized pile. It's just you want them kind of random so that your card isn't sideways compared to all the other ones going the opposite direction. You, got, you understand. You're smart enough. Anyways... You, uh, you can pick up the prediction or you let them. You say, I don't want to touch a thing. They pick it up. They open it. They reveal the paper inside. You will pick the four of hearts. You say, I had nothing to do with this. I wrote this down before we ever did this. You pick up the top one. They pick it up. They flip over the card themselves, thinking they're the only ones that have touched the cards. Four of hearts right there. So, again, doesn't have to be the four of hearts. Don't follow that. Don't be a little sheep. You can um, pick any card that you want. So uh, try to pick something different and uh, make up a few different envelopes so you can do it a couple different times, maybe uh, with different predictions. So just remember, don't repeat tricks too much. People, people are pretty smart. They'll start to catch on. Little kids usually catch it right away. So have fun with my favorite card trick, the envelope card prediction trick.